hey guys welcome back to my channel I don't even know how to start this video because this is probably one of the most exciting things to happen to me in my whole life like I've literally waited almost 31 years we are right now in the car sorry I don't want to get demonetized we are right now in the car I'm here with Justin my fiance and we are on our way to the airport to pick up our puppy is that even exciting enough to say it like that like how do i even tell them we're getting an eight week old cavapoo puppy we've literally waited since 2019 for this moment like it's been a long time coming i know she people beat me down guys she beat me down <laughs> i know a lot of people um like got dogs in the pandemic and blah 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 but back in 2019 i would always see these cute cavapoos on instagram and we researched the breed and i was like this is the perfect breed for us because they're hypoallergenic they don't shed you guys know i'm not about dog hair shedding all over my house like to keep a clean house they are on the small side so like things like their poop isn't gonna be too huge uh, growing up I haven't had any pets so this is gonna be my very first pet onto the waiting list with the breeder when we finally knew that we were definitely getting a house and waited the eight month period it was so hard to wait and finally now the day has come almost two years later or probably two years later after we first dreamed this up that we're going to pick up our puppy Georgie so yeah I guess you guys don't want to see me talking so I will pick this up probably when we get there and we get him I'm not sure how it's going to be but I am so excited guys like I am so freaking excited I could cry I have always wanted this and it's finally happening yay so guys showing you what I bought with us in our little bag I obviously bought poop bags because this is my life now just in case he needs to go I bought pee pads in case he has to go potty when we pick him up. I'm going to put one on the ground or in the back of the trunk. And then I'm also going to put one in the blanket and towel that I bought for him in case he relieves himself on the way home. We bought treats. This is actually a Canadian brand for all my Canadians. These are the Crumps Natural Mini Trainers. We bought a little collar for him. I'm not even sure if this is going to fit because we don't know how tiny he's going to be. But this is a little biothane collar with a little rose gold clasp which is gonna look so cute on his floof. I've watched so many videos, you guys, so many Zach George videos. I've read so many things on Reddit about owning a puppy, a new dog. I literally have done so much research up until this point, but I feel like obviously there's always things that I'm not gonna know since this is the first time. So we're both doing trial and error. We're here, uh, we're waiting. The plane arrived at 325, it's 348. So we're just waiting for him to be delivered to the drop-off spot. You guys, I've got his little blanket. I've got my mask. <clears throat> Honestly, it's been really hard. When we get home, I'll show you everything that I picked up for him because it's been really hard um, because in Ontario, we're in lockdown right now until May 20th. So we're not allowed to go to any stores, anything like that. Um, so everything I had to, I had to order on, ugh, I can't even talk. So everything we had to order online. Yeah. We found out recently that we are Amazon subscribers. Oh, yeah. And we get free shipping. Yeah, this is the whole reason. I had never ordered you guys from Amazon before in my life, and I have had Amazon Prime on the TV for years, but I just didn't think that that extended to the two-day shipping thing, so I didn't want to sign up for another service. So yeah, when I when uh, the breeder told us we would be getting our puppy on May 7th, I was like, OMG, I had to scramble to order everything because it was two weeks ago. And so Amazon was where I went to. I was like, I'm going to sign up, and then I realized I had it. So we have been getting Amazon packages for the last week and a half, oh, wow. all his stuff. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, yeah. He loves, he loves us. Oh, we can have him go play in the backyard now. Yes. Oh, we can play in the backyard when we get home. Oh, baby, look at his little paw. Oh, he's so cute. Georgie. Isn't he so cute? He is. Isn't he cuter than you thought? Yes. Oh, doesn't he look like our Georgie? Yes, Perfectly. Cute. Guys, it's Georgie. Say hello to Georgie Orange. Yes, Georgie Orangey O'Brien. I know. I don't have any more, baby. Yes. 
Oh, look at the hand. Look at the paw. I can't call. <laughs> I can't call. Look. Yay. Yay. Justin, you guys, has had a complete 360. You should have seen, well, I don't know if you guys would see, but when we went to take Georgie out of his little crate, the poor thing was just cowering in the back of the crate, shaking like a leaf. I think he was, well, no, I know he was traumatized, obviously. <laughs> but Justin just went right in there, and the one who said they weren't keen on getting a dog, look at them now. Was you instantly went over? Woo. You guys, so it's been a little while. You saw us in the car. We're back at home. Georgie is the cutest. We've just been playing with him and letting him settle in. Oh, look, he loves it. He looks like a little chicken nugget. <laughs> a little piece of fried chicken. He is such a playful little guy. We gave him a bath and blow dried him and he liked it. Yes. Yes, we did. Ooh, tell him. Say hi, Georgie. He doesn't like the collar, so he keeps scratching at it, but I'm trying to get him used to it so when we go potty at nighttime, if he needs to go, I can leash him because he is pretty, you know, what's the word? Wriggly. Good morning. Say hello to Georgie, guys. This is little Georgie who woke us up every 45 minutes last night. Sometimes to pee, maybe three times he peed, and other times he just wanted us to see us so we would have to lie by his little crate so he would get back to sleep, but he would go to sleep quickly if we lay by the crate, probably like five minutes, oh, man. maybe 10, and he just wanted his little paws held, but we are very, very tired, right babe? So tired. <laughs> he is just exploring this morning. He's the happiest, little floofiest, little cute dog, and we love him, even though he woke us up. Look at this face. How could you be mad at this cute little face even when it's whining in the crate at you? <laughs> So I know what you're thinking, it looks like I'm a horrible dog parent, but Georgie needs to get used to his crate. No one shows this in any of their videos, honestly, but the minute I put him in his crate, he's done a poo, he's done a pee, he's had run time in the yard, he's had snuggles, he's had training, he's had the best time ever, we got all his toys, I filled a Kong with peanut butter, so I know all his needs are met, but the minute I put him in this playpen, just so I can go take a shower, Justin and I haven't even left yet, this is what we have to deal with. So everyone says just to leave him and let him cry it out. I mean, I do feel bad because he obviously just wants his mom or us, but like this is the only way we can keep him safe and us safe while we shower. So he needs to get used to it. Your favorite song, the night is young, and you got me going on every single beat. It's my heart so deep. Georgie's first looky mat. Um, I just spread this with 0% fat Greek yogurt and he can go to town on this. I froze it so it's going to be harder for him. I want to start feeding him inside of his crate little thing so I fed him a Kong over here earlier too. But this will keep him occupied and also build up positive association hopefully with his crate. He's fine in it at night but if we put him in it in the daytime and close the door it's a no-go for him. Um, he doesn't like it. He screels just like in the playpen. So I'm trying my best to give him fun things and lots of treats and all the goodness inside the crate. So guys, I'm coming at you guys live right now and unfiltered. I'm actually still in my pajamas. It's day two and a half or day three, I guess, since we got Georgie. We got him on Friday and it's now uh, Monday morning at the time. It's now eight o'clock in the morning on Monday and I want to give you guys an update. Little Georgie is currently taking a little nap on the blanket that he commandeered. He really likes his blanket, so we're just giving it to him. He likes to nest in it and sleep in it. Anywho, while he's passed out, I just thought I would give you an update. Let me be honest with you guys. One thing that in all the YouTube videos that I watch and all the research that I did for two years, no one really prepares you um, for how hard and how full on it is. Everyone just shows you the cute parts, the great parts, and it's great 99% of the time. I love him so much, I wouldn't change him for the world or give him back. I love him, but the lack of sleep is catching up to me. So um, he woke up the first night every 45 minutes, you guys. Um, he went to bed at like 9.30, and every 45 minutes he would wake up whining in his crate or howling. He didn't like his crate the first night. Um, he potty maybe four of those times, but most times he just needed someone to 
to go lie down on the floor next to him. So that was that. Yet, um, the second night he was much better. What we did was we elevated his crate so that it was up on a chair so he could see us in the bed and it's really close to the bed so he didn't feel like he was alone. We think maybe he was traumatized still from the plane so he didn't like his crate. And so he slept way better. He only woke up every two hours which is about right for a puppy his age. And every time he woke up he would go potty. I'm just someone who doesn't function very well on no sleep and so he woke up at 5 45 this morning and you guys I had a little bit of a breakdown while he was playing Justin came back home thankfully and he was able to just take care of him for a little bit puppies are supposed to sleep a lot at this age but Georgie is so so excited that he can only really sleep for 15 to 30 minutes as a time so um it's pretty full on and I like to watch him when he's awake just to make sure he hates his playpen even if I put him in here and close the door and sit in this chair you can see how close I am he will howl to get out he hates it I knew about the puppy blues I knew I would be getting less sleep but I didn't know like I guess none of the reading or watching videos in the world can prepare you for how it is until you're actually living it and how your body's gonna react anytime I'm sad I just look at him and I'm like little chicken nugget so I moved him into his playpen while he was asleep in this little blanket that he loves. He woke up, he was about to start crying when I closed the door, but I got in there and started stroking him, lay down with him. Now he's asleep again, so I'm gonna run upstairs and try and take a shower before he wakes up or just see how he reacts when he wakes up. We do keep a potty pad in there because um, when he's in there, he tends to pee and poo if he's left alone, I think just out of stress. So we keep one there, but other than that, he goes outside for his potty, but yeah, 8.30. Let's do the quickest shower of my life. I him upstairs and put him in his crate while I got dressed because he was freaking out. And now he's freaking out in here. So we're going to let him out when he's quiet. Quiet. Can you sit? Sit, Georgie. Sit. We'll wait for a moment. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Good morning guys, it is 5.45 in the morning and this is what 5.45 looks like. This is the time that baby bear likes to wake up. Georgie likes to wake up at 5.45 so we let him run around, burn off some energy for like 30 minutes and then he'll probably be ready for another nap. Good boy, good boy. Oh, so much energy in the morning. Oh, so much energy. He just wants to play. Oh, he might have found a spot to go. Sometimes he gets distracted, you guys, so he feels like it's playtime. And I just let him do his thing and sniff around, look around, because we're just in our backyard. Let's see, is he gonna come here or is he gonna party? Oh, he's coming here for some love. I just like to sit here usually and wait because he's figured out how to do these stairs so when he's done he'll either sit at the bottom of the stairs or he'll jump up all the stairs and he's ready to go in. Um, last night was a better night for us. He woke up to pee. He only peed three times I think or four times, peed and pooped. Um, he did wake up a couple more times but he just wanted to be comforted. Oh, did he go? But he hasn't peed yet so I guess we'll go in. See he's waiting. Oh, Georgie! He just jumped into the screen door. Hang on. Oh, good boy, you're getting big. So guys, here's Georgie eating his lunch. He's on his special diet right now and he is living for this wet food, you guys. Look at the way he eats it. He's only actually on drip feeding right now too. They said give him only a tablespoon every three hours. So he's probably pretty hungry too because we're not giving him a major amount of food, but just to help settle his stomach. But I want to show you guys where we got everything for Georgie from. Let's start with this playpen. Everything I'm going to link below. This is the 24 inch playpen from Amazon. I believe this was $50, really cheap. Something I added at the last minute was this mat. This is actually meant for babies and high chairs. It's called a splat mat. I think this was the best $20 I could have ever spent. And this is waterproof, but it's really, really good. It's actually super thin. Um, but what happens is when any water falls on this or any pee, um, it just kind of pools on the top. It doesn't even sink into the fabric and it's completely washable. I've washed it a few times. This little foam bed, I bought as a crate liner for his crate and I got this from um, where did I get this from Canadian Tire it was $15 so this was the bed that was meant to go in his crate but what we ended up doing is using it for here and using the bed that I bought to go in here to go in his crate so I wanted to get a selection of rope toys for chewing for him and these are actually all came in one package on Amazon he loves these freaking toys he loves this one he loves this one he loves he loves playing tug of war these ones I think are a little bit too big for his mouth right now so he's not as big of a fan but these three he loves them so I'm definitely gonna get more rope toys oh you're bringing Moosey 
This is Georgie's favorite toy, guys. Look, it's Mr. Moose. It's Mr. Moose. Moosey kind of is almost as big as Georgie. He only just figured out how to pick it up, but he loves this toy. This is his favorite one, and he also loves Mr. Ducky. Oh yes, you love Mr. Ducky. Those are his two. Those are by the brand Kong. I actually got these from in from an Edmonton-based store and it's called Home Alive Pets. If you guys want to find the best price on these kind of toys and you live in Canada, you guys need to go to Home Alive Pets because the selection that they have is amazing and the price is amazing. I also from there got a three pack set of these Kong balls. These, I didn't realize how small he would be. These are the 1.5 inch, I believe, or the two inch. I would have got one size down, get the smallest if you're getting a cat poo puppy, but look. Go get it, Georgie. We've been working. Georgie, are you embarrassing me? He's not into it right now, guys. But anyway, Home Alive Pets have the best toys. He also has his little Merlot. I wanted to get him some little wine-inspired toys. How cute is this? There's a water ball inside this, and it's also a little squeaker. And again, this was super affordable. I also got these by Nyla Bone. These are their teething rings. They're bacon-flavored. He's starting to like these more and more every day. And then we just got this little pineapple stuffy here. This is from Zippy Paws and it has a squeaker in it. I'm not gonna squeak it because, you know. These bones here are just some chew bones. These are by Benabone and they are their puppy pack. Obviously, Georgie's pretty bitey at the moment because his little baby teeth are coming in. I will say these are a little bit big for his mouth again right now, even though they're meant for puppies. This one here he uses most. He can't really get the hang of this one yet. We also got a Kong, could not not get a Kong. We tried this filled with little mini frozen carrots. He wasn't really much of a carrots guy. We also tried this filled with kibble and then we just lined the rim with peanut butter or Greek yogurt and he really loves that. Most of the stuff came from Amazon. They have the best prices. These are the Earth Rated Dog Wipes. I initially bought these and I was just gonna use them as his paw wipes when he comes from outside and it's like muddy and rainy, you know, just to keep our floors clean. But then Justin had the idea of using it to wipe his butt also after he poops. We also went with the same brand, Earth Rated, for the eco-friendly poop bags. This is a 300 count. I like these, they don't split, they're thick. This, you guys, is going to be your best friend. This is the Nature's Miracle Enzymatic Stain and Odor Removal. This is what you're gonna need and probably get two of them. I'm about to order more to break down the enzymes in the urine and the poop if they poop or pee on the floor. I'm such a stalker, you guys. I honestly am just always stalking the dog. I have so many pictures on him, on my phone of him. I'm not quite sure of the brand of these, but these are just a pack of silicone dog toothbrushes. Um, we want to get Georgie into the habit of brushing his teeth while well, we're gonna do his teeth a couple of times a week. So I figured these would be easier because as a puppy, they're kind of bitey and you can just slip them on your finger and go ahead. I also ordered these bacon style plaque busters. These are just chews for him to chew on. They just look like this. I mean, he does gnaw on them a little bit. He hasn't gone through a whole one of these, so I'm not sure if these are his favorite. Oh, I also got this steel comb. This is invaluable. You guys will see me brushing him with this in the vlog. It has the thinner teeth and then the wider teeth, but Cavapoos obviously have a curly coat thanks to their poodle jeans, and they can get matted really easily. We wanna keep him curly and long, so basically brushing him every day helps with that. I did order another slicker brush from Amazon as well. That just hasn't come yet. It's supposed to come by the 27th of May. I'm sorry at how messy these look, but they're in use. Um, also from Amazon, I picked up these little silicone tray molds. This one is a paw print mold. Let me see if I can turn it over paw prints like this and these ones are bone molds just so I can make some little homemade treats for Georgie. These ones that I made yesterday the bottom row are just all berries and water blended together and frozen. These top ones are berries on the top and then some 0% Greek yogurt on the bottom. He loves those ones. This is the puppy shampoo that we picked up for him. This one gets really good reviews by the brand Wall. It has a really really light scent and it's plant-based and paraben free. Perfect for puppies. Really gentle. Moving on from Amazon these are his little tags oh my gosh I don't want my number to show but I found this company imprints pet care on Instagram and she makes the cutest hand stamp tags so we just got his name along with some paw prints and then some stars and it is so freaking cute I can't wait for him to put this on his collar and wear it I mean it's so freaking cute and then it has our name and number on the back this you guys is Georgie's little food mat I'm obsessed with this when I saw this on home alive pets I freaked out because it matches not only our decor our island it 
also matches his bowls perfectly with the white marble theme and it's just a waterproof raised mat that I can put his dishes on which is great if he laps up water or steps in his water bowl. I also found Home Alive Pets really good for vitamins and kind of wellness care too. So I picked up these. These were recommended to me by another Cavapoo parent. These are by Nature Vet and they are puppy daily vitamins with a breath aid. This was also recommended to me by another Cavapoo parent. This is the Plaque Off Powder by Proden. This is supposed to be really, really good. You can just sprinkle it on their food and it not only keeps their breath good, it protects them from tartar and plaque as well, kind of like a chew would do. This I love. You guys would have seen me in this video putting this in his ear. This is also by Nature Vet, the same person who makes the daily vitamins. This is the ear wash. So Cavapoos, they have those really cute, big floppy ears, but they're prone to yeast infections and ear infections. So once a week, we have to drop these into his ear. And then finally, we have the Vets Best Enzymatic Toothpaste. I just brushed his teeth today with it. It doesn't really have a scent. He licked it. He enjoyed it. He wasn't mad about it. So I do like this. Last but not least, you guys, I've come upstairs to show you Georgie's crate. So the crate is by our bed, obviously, because I we have to wake up to do potty training so he can see us. This is a blanket that I had anyway. This is a crate the breeder recommended. It is the 24 inch crate. 24 inches is pretty long for him as a puppy. This is going to be great for him to grow into as well when he's full size. He can still use this and we'll just take out the stuff. But what I had to do was bank up about half of the space with towels and sheets. Um, these are just old towels and sheets for our house because when we didn't, we did catch him trying to go potty on this side and then use this side to sleep. This is also from Home Alive Pets. This is his snuggle puppy. He loves this thing. It has a little heartbeat inside and a heating pack. And I got the brown one because I wanted him to think it looked like him. This is another t-shirt that has Justin and my scent on it. Everyone recommended we put this in here. So we did that on the second night and he does like it. This bed right here, you guys, I wish I could show you better. This is a really nice plushy donut bed that I actually bought for his playpen. And I bought that flat white bed that's downstairs for in here but we realized he preferred this bed it felt more den like and cozy for him and he was getting confused with the other bed thinking it was a potty pad and had some accidents on there so I didn't want to put it in here um, I think it's because it's white he thinks it's a pee pad so this is gray there's no confusion the texture is completely different and then this right here you guys is a little fleece blanket by the brand pet ami this is a specific washable pet blanket um, I just have this in here in case he wants to curl up in it it also adds to the cozy vibes because he kind of snuggles under I just noticed he was doing that so I set it up for him. Guys I forgot to tell you another thing I bought from Amazon is this little carrier for Georgie because he doesn't have all his vaccinations yet but we want to socialize him so we got this little bag from Amazon and it is a godsend. He's so comfy in there. He sticks his little paw out and we're gonna take him on a little walkies. Oh handsome boy. Who's a handsome boy? He just wants to play so I'm gonna have to go. I'm, oh he just wants to sit with me. Look at Georgie and Mr. Mouse guys. Am I bothering you? He's like, mom, no more pictures, no more filming. This poor dog's probably sick of me. You guys, oh my gosh, it's Wednesday. The time is flying by so quickly. I know I was pretty depressed in the first few checkouts. On Monday and Tuesday were really hard days for me. On Monday, we had a really bad scare. So I left um, Georgie in his playpen while I took a shower. And as you guys know, he doesn't like his playpen, blah, blah, that's fine. But when I came downstairs, I had noticed that there was blood in his poop. He had like done watery diarrhea and there was blood in his poop. And then we went outside and did a poop and there was blood. And so you guys know me, the first thing I did was Google what is blood in a puppy's poop. You guys should see my phone history. It's can an eight week puppy XYZ? What if my eight week puppy is doing XYZ? Anyway, when I Googled it, it said it could be at risk for parvo. So I called our regular vets who were not scheduled to go to until June the 4th for his second round of vaccinations. And they couldn't get me in until the following day, the Tuesday in the evening. And so I was just really worried because I was like, I don't want to leave it over 24 hours in case it is parvo and that we could have got him help earlier. So I had to call around to a bunch of emergency vets in the city finally one would take me I don't understand vets are so busy right now and so I drove there immediately after my shower after I called them we just got in the car we used his car seat for the first time and we spent pretty much all day there I left the house at 10 I wasn't back until like 3 4 o'clock in the afternoon um, he first of all got a test for parvo which was a swab up his poor little bottom and he 
took it like a champ and he didn't have parvo which was amazing and then the vets ended up bringing him in and looking over and he had some stomach issues a sensitive stomach it could be related to his plane ride or his stress but basically they gave him a IV right there in the vets as well to keep up his hydration and his blood sugar because he wasn't eating a lot and then they also sent us home with some special food as well so it's special gastro food it's for high energy puppies and it's a wet food and he loves it you guys oh my god like he loves it so much more than the kibble um they also gave him a probiotic to take home which he's been taking two milliliters of every day guys i look so ratchet i need to get this weave taken out but we're in lockdown in ontario and then also some more deworming medication which we don't start till next monday so he has been feeling a lot better since then i would say his poops have really started firming up ever since he started his new diet never thought that i would be talking so much about poop caring about consistency of poop what does the poop look like but you know he still hates his playpen you guys he will still have when he goes in there i've actually taken all the toys and everything out and just put them on the floor because when i can have eyes on him there's no point me putting him in the playpen to howl and stress him out but i do have to get him used to it because like when i need to go to the grocery store when i need to shower when i need to work out it's best to have him contained because he's not fully potty trained you guys he's gotten so much better at just settling and being able to do his own thing i mean he does follow me around and likes to be my little shadow but i don't mind that because he's so freaking cute but look he just plays with his little toys what I really came out here to show you guys is that today is the first day that we've been working kind of on certain basic commands like leave it and sit and Georgie is usually more excited in the tree he's like lunging at the tree trying to get the tree he doesn't really care what we're doing but today let me guys put you guys here today is the first day you guys that Georgie is reliably doing a sit when the tree I think he's finally figuring it out it's really cool to see in only five days like every day something new has happened he let us sleep for four hours last night um, straight which is the longest he's let us sleep literally every day he learns something new and becomes a little better so let's try and do sit Georgie come back okay let's do can you sit sit yes good boy good boy sit yes good boy he's a smart boy good boy is that on camera come here okay Georgie sit Yes, good boy. Sit. Yes, good boy. Oh my goodness. He's a smart boy. Here you go. What a good boy. Only five days here. He's just turned nine weeks yesterday. Today. You guys, it's stuff like that that makes it so rewarding. Because at first I was like, why is my puppy just going for the food? Like, why isn't he clicking? Like, when you watch all the videos, it's like you lure them and they just start getting it like that. But we've just been working for maybe five or ten minutes, um, three or four times a day for the past three days. And he's reliably getting it today. I'm so proud of him. Look at my baby smile. This is why you can't even be mad when he wakes you up at night. Because look at him. I call him baby bear as a nickname because he just reminds me of a little baby bear where's Georgie where's Georgie oh he's teething don't mind him where's Georgie this is he loves this I love when he goes on his back he's so playful oh I just want your everything baby I'll be deep under your influence